What's up guys, I cut the game in here, and I got something a little different for all you guys today. Today I'm going to be doing a mod review, piss off, piss off Slime, you're ruining my intro. Alright, today I am going to be doing a mod review of the Naruto C mod. Pretty much it just adds a whole bunch of Naruto related features to the game. Alright, let's get into this. First off, we have Shuriken which is what I'm holding right now. It works pretty much the same way as it would in the real Naruto anime and manga. Pretty much when you right click it charges up like a bow and you can throw it varying distances depending on how much you've charged it up. And it does apparently 1.5 hearts of damage. I don't know how accurate that is, because this is a mod for 1.6.2. There is a beta version of 1.6.4, but for some reason it crashed my game. So I'm playing on 1.6.2, and I'll be sure to post an updated video when I can actually get the 1.6.4 version working. So yeah, this just some... Um, testing, oh crap, a little, little zombie, piss off, no, go on, go on, alright, so yeah, that's the shuriken, no, ah, oh, I'm probably going to die, one second, that doesn't work in 1.6.2, crap, die slimes, so yeah, now that they're all kind of vaguely no, they can still hurt me, I forgot, they double up. Die. Die flying. Alright, so that was the shuriken. Now I'm going to head on to the giant shuriken, which is pretty much the same, except it does more damage. So shuriken, you get five shuriken if you do this crafting recipe, five iron ingots, ingots in ingots, sorry, I'm being stupid, in a star pattern. And then, it gives you five shuriken, as you probably saw. And then, for the giant shuriken, you can put five shuriken in the same pattern, and it'll give you two giant shuriken. Pretty much, they're just more damaging than the regular shuriken, as I'm going to show you on this slide. Yeah, they just pretty much do more damage than the normal shuriken, the smaller shuriken. And, yeah, I'm gonna get overrun by slime again because fun apparently they spawn way more often in super flat worlds I completely forgot about that but at least it gives me something to train on or well, demonstrate on I guess the slash speed work no what the hell I'm so used to playing I'm so used to playing in more updated versions. Alright, I need to go to food and get me a shit ton of gold apples. No, get me a ton of gold apples. Gold apples. Get me raw chicken as well. I'm being stupid at the moment. Alright, let's eat some gold apples to heal myself up. So, yeah, that's shuriken and giant shuriken. Now, next is Kunai. Fuck off! Stop ruining my demonstration, Mr. Slimes. Alright, next up is Kunai. Can be made by putting two ironing next to leather and bone meal on top. And that will give you two Kunai. Kunai, same sort of thing, it's just a ranged weapon. So it's pretty much like a bow, but you don't need ammo for it. it. It in itself is the ammo. And, yeah, it does, as you can see there, two hearts of damage. So no, not quite as good as the giant shuriken, but better than the regular shuriken. And I reckon it's a lot harder to craft than the, than the shuriken, because purely because I always find myself having trouble finding cows for some reason. 
So leather is a rarity for me, but you might disagree. You might find it a lot easier to find cows than it is to find iron. But I always tend to run into giant, giant veins of iron and get enough iron for days. Alright, next up we have explosive tags. Made using rose red, dye that I hardly ever, well, never use, apart from in this. This is the first time I've even known about it. Made by using rose red, gunpowder, and paper arranged like this, as you can see. And that, oh crap, it's getting night time, will give you three explosive tags. Now, explosive tags can, they're ranged weapons, so they can be chucked like that, and if slimes don't get in your way, they just pretty much do a creeper explosion where they land. And you can charge them up to chuck them further. And, yeah, these can, but these can also be attached to kunai make explosive kunai, which pretty much just increases the range of the explosive tag. Here we have explosive kunai, made by arranging them in that order. For some reason, I don't think, I think it needs to be in that order. God damn it. I think it needs to be in that order, rather than, like, a shapeless crafting, where you can place them anywhere in the in the crafting table and get the same results. Ah, getting overrun by mobs. And, uh, to top it all off, crap. I've completely forgotten the set time zero, maybe? No. And I'm back. Sorry about the cut, guys. I got overrun by mobs. But to avoid that happening again, I built a little bunker thing where I can just spawn one zombie in and test out the weapons on that one zombie. Alright, before I cut, I was up to showing the Katana Blade. The Katana Blade itself does 5 attack damage, plus 5 attack damage, sorry, and it is made strangely using this crafting recipe. I don't quite know how that would make a blade-like shape, but I'm not going to complain. And it gives one katana blade. Alright, in itself it's not really a great weapon, but it can be combined with the katana hilt, which is made with leather, iron, and bone meal, arranged in that fashion. And it can be combined with that to make a ninja katana which does twice the damage of a diamond sword. So, quite a good weapon. For some reason, it can only be made if you put it in this exact order. This is in the 1.6.2 mod. I don't know if they've changed it for the 1.6.4, but for some reason, I couldn't get that one working, so I am playing in 1.6.2. So, in the 1.6.2, you need to put it exactly like this. You can't change it like that, or have it like that, it won't work for some reason. But yeah, it does. It's a blade that does 14 attack damage. And it is pretty overpowered. One second, I am in peaceful, so it's going to spawn some zombie, some zombies. Alright. No, don't burn to death. Oh, crap testing. Alright. Spawn you in. You stuff behind it. What? It still burns. Oh well. So pretty much. It'll kill any vanilla mob in two shots. I think it's two shots for everything. But, yeah, that's the katana. Very, very overpowered weapon. But, I suppose if you're playing with another mod installed, like you find RPG or something, it's not that great. But against vanilla mobs, it will absolutely destroy them. Alright, next we have the Kanoha Ninja Headband which can be made with blue wool and an iron ingot. This is pretty much has no function other than to do with chakra, which I will be getting into in the next video. Alright, next up we have ninja jacket, which can be made with green wool, made into a chest plate sort of thing. This just 
pretty much it gives armor. Oh, it's called a ninja flash jacket, apparently. But it gives the same armor as an iron chest blade, and it pretty much has, the only function it has is armor. So yeah, that's the Naruto mod part one. In part two, I'll be showing all the chakra-based things, demonstrating all that, showing you how to do that with all the jutsu and stuff. Leave a like if you enjoyed, be sure to comment, subscribe for more, and link to download the mod will be in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed.